Hello everyone. So in this lab exercise, we are going to create a couple of web application and we are going to create a traffic manager profile and see how the traffic manager can be used to route the traffic between these web application. Even if one web application is down, how the traffic manager can reroute the traffic to another one which is available. So let's go and start the lab. In this exercise, we are going to create a traffic manager profile to deliver high availability for the company called Contoso Limited Organization's web application. We're going to create two instances of the web application and deploy it in two different regions, one in East US and another one in West Europe. The East US region will act as the primary endpoint for the traffic manager and the West Europe region will act as the failover endpoint. And the way we are going to create the traffic manager profile is based on the endpoint priority. So this profile will direct user traffic to the primary site running the web application. First step, let's go and create web applications. On your Azure portal, go to click on a, create a resource and search for web app and select the web app which is provided by Microsoft and click on create. Make sure you select the right subscription. You can either choose an existing resource group or create a brand new one. We're going to create a brand new resource group. We're going to call it as Contoso Resource Group for Traffic Manager 1. Click OK. Give a name for your web application. I'm going to call Contoso Web Application East US 321. Under the publishing type, make sure you select code. Under runtime stack, we're going to select ASP version 8 4.8. Operating system, we'll choose Windows. Under region, we're going to pick East US. Scroll down. Under app service plan, click on create new and give a name for your web application plan. So I'm going to call it as Contoso App Service Plan East US and click OK. Under the SKUs and size, click on change size. I'm going to retain the production one, but it's the standard one, which is S1 plan and click on apply. Click next to go to the deployment tab. And we are not making any changes here this time. Click on networking. Again, no changes in the networking tab. Click on monitoring. Under monitoring tab, Disable the application insights and click on review and create. After the validation, click on create. So now this is going to create the web application. It will ideally take one to two minutes to complete this whole process. While this is happening, let's go and create another web application in the West Europe region for our next test to create the traffic manager profile. So I'm going to go back to the home page, click on create resource. Again, I'm going to repeat the whole process web app click on the web app and click on create so our first web application is deployed i'm gonna not click on go to resource at the moment because we are going to create one more and we'll go and check the web application so go and create another resource group this time name it as contoso resource group for traffic manager 2 click ok give a name to the web app so the last one we called as contoso web app East US, so this time it is West Europe. I'm gonna call it Contoso Web App West Europe 321. Publishing code is code, runtime stack, ASP.NET version 4.8, Windows. Under region, we're gonna pick West Europe. Give a name for the app service plan. I'm gonna create a new app service plan and, and I'm gonna call it Contoso App Service Plan for West Europe. Click OK. I'm going to change the size to standard again under production. Go and pick the standard plan. Click apply. Next deployment. We are not making any changes. Networking. We are not making any changes under monitoring. I'm going to turn off the application insights monitoring and click on review and create and click on create. All right. So now while the deployment is happening, let's go back to the home page and on the global search box, type in app service, select app services we will be able to see both the app services we created just now. So the first one is created. You can click on it and you can go to the overview tab and you can see that this is running and this is the URL for this web application. So let's go back to our app services. Let's wait for the other one to get created as well. In the meantime, if you want to know if the web application or the web app we created is running, so you can go to the overview pane and click on this URL and by default, this would be running a sample website because we haven't deployed any code in it. This, uh, But 
this is to make sure that this is running this web application is running at the moment i'm going to go back go to app services let's hit refresh all right so now we have both of our web application created make sure that one is created in east europe sorry one is created in east us another one is in west europe so that we can test the traffic manager so now let's go and create the traffic manager profile so go back to your home page and click on create a resource and search for traffic manager profile hit enter and create traffic manager profile under the name of the profile give a name i'm going to call it contuso traffic manager profile 321 under routing method not the performance we are going to use priority make sure you select the right subscription resource group i'm going to keep it under contuso resource group traffic manager 1 and i'm going to place it in east us and hit create so now this is deploying the traffic manager profile it would ideally complete the step in about a minute so it's completed so let's click on go to resource to see the traffic manager we just created all right so that is done now the next task is we are going to add endpoints to this traffic manager to do that go under settings and click on endpoints so we don't have any endpoint at the moment so click on add endpoint under the type select azure endpoint give a name so i'm going to call it my primary endpoint under target resource type select app service and target resource make sure you select the east us one and priority one click on add so our first endpoint is added so while that is saving let's click on add one more time and add our second endpoint again azure endpoint give a name this time we are adding the failover endpoint so that is the second one so add my failover endpoint target resource type app service again choose the app service this time it is west europe one priority two and click on add all right so the setting let me quickly explain the setting or the priority two means that the traffic will route to the failover endpoint if the configured primary endpoint becomes unhealthy let's go back to the all right so i'm not going to modify any changes so we need to make sure that both are online so right now it is showing our primary one is online and the secondary one is checking the endpoint so the priority also we need to make sure that both are set right so the primary one should be one and the secondary or the failover point should be two so i'm going to quickly do one more refresh and we need to wait until the failover endpoint change to online all right so both of our endpoints are online now we have completed the step three which is adding the traffic manager endpoint the last step is to test the traffic manager profile let's go and do that so to do that go to your traffic manager profile and click on overview and copy your dns name i'm going to open another tab and paste the dns which we copied from the traffic manager and hit enter all right so as you can see that the web apps default website should be displayed so we can see the default website is visible if for some reason you get 404 website not found message disable the profile from the traffic manager and then enable profile and refresh the page so sometimes it it will take some time to work so right now um, all the traffic is being sent to the primary endpoint as because it is set to primary uh, one which is let me go back so if you go back to the endpoint um, all the traffic will direct to the primary endpoint because the priority is set to one so to test the failover is working so what we are going to do is we are going to um, select the primary endpoint and we are going to disable it and click on save so for some reason if the primary endpoint is not working or the website is down for whatever reason uh, because we have the traffic manager profile set to go to the next one or the failover one it should idly reroute the traffic back to the second one now let's go back to the traffic manager profile hit refresh you can see that the status is disabled right now now I'm gonna close this window. Let's go back to the traffic manager. Copy the DNS one more time. And I'm gonna go to another tab and let's see if we are able to connect to the default website. Right. So again, the web app is running. So we are able to connect to the web app and the web app is responding. 
even though the primary endpoint is not available the traffic is routed to the failover endpoint which allows the website to still function so that was a quick example on how to use traffic manager profile to reroute the traffic and kind of use it as a load balancer to reroute the traffic using the profile mechanism i hope the information provided was useful i will see you on the next one until then take care